For the first time actually since the release of Mississippi Acres Preserve, we're out here in multiplayer and this probably would have happened sooner if not for the fact that the internet was out for the last couple of days. And at least we kind of have it back with Wi-Fi uh, without getting into too much of an explanation. I just can't get it in this particular room. And I'd like to have a wired connection before we actually stream. So I was going to make up for the fact that we missed Monday's stream, but I feel like we're likely to have some inconsistencies there. So we're going to continue with the videos until we get that fixed. And I think it's going to be fun to actually get out here in multiplayer. This is probably the latest it's been like after release before we ever got into multiplayer. And I'm curious to see what these servers may hold for us today. And this is an interesting way to start out. There were a couple of whitetail over there, and I was looking at them and didn't even realize that turkey was running right at us. The one thing that we've not really encountered too much of on this map is any kind of interesting whitetail. We had a troll level 3 on stream during the early access portion, and that's kind of been it. So I've somewhat been watching out for them as we've been hunting along. But uh, yeah, the 20 gauge Strecker Scarlet didn't do too bad there. I'm still actually not 100% sure that this was a console exclusive weapon. I just, for some reason, seem to think that there were only three 20 gauges in that uh, Wild Goose Chase DLC. I'm not sure if there were four for console or where this came from, but I didn't own it. And I'm pretty sure at one point I had purchased every weapon that was available, so I'm not really sure what the deal with that one is. It may not have actually been a console exclusive, but it felt like it was, so I've been carrying that as an extra because we got our diamond with the 7mm Empress yesterday with the Kudu and of course we had a diamond raccoon I believe with the 12 gauge gamekeeper so this is the final of those three weapons that we haven't gotten a diamond with the 22H of course had a diamond raccoon as well but uh speaking of diamonds and things that we are missing this is one that I'm really hoping to maybe get today I'm gonna definitely go through some of my favorite areas for the Eastern Turkey today and see if we can maybe run into either a level 3 or a diamond level 2. I mentioned it before, they are the turkey species that I'm familiar with in real life, the species that I hunt, and I just really want to get one of them in game. I think it would be really, really cool to have in the trophy lodge, so maybe today will be the day for that. I'm really not sure if the level 4 raccoons have any chance of making diamond. I know with an estimate of 11 to 13, that guy should have at least a chance as a random white tail buck decides to run on by. Actually, it looked kind of decent, but it just got the more massive frame. But I know in general, with a lot of the newer maps, the kind of trend has been that animals below the max level can make diamond really rarely. And definitely when we don't know, I like to take the shots and try to find out. So kind of through the brush shooting at outline, but we at least got a hit in there with the 22 LR. I decided to carry that today mostly because I wanted to have the M1 on the off chance that we run into any gators or anything like that. I still have the 243 for Gray Fox, so I guess if this level 3 is going to run around here, we'll go ahead and get it with the 20 gauge as well. Should give plenty of time for the level 4 to go down. Just a silver for that guy in the brown fur type, which I do want a diamond of. Actually, we have a diamond gray and a diamond blonde. I just think the browns look pretty realistic, so anyway, this guy still is not down yet, but I think he's going to be down quite soon, and fortunately because they don't exactly run all that fast, he wasn't too far away for us, so, you know, he is 11.6 score, and 11.75 kg, I think there probably is a slight chance, if he was only, I don't know, a little more than 0.1 kg heavier, there probably would have been some amount of opportunity for him to reach into that uh, 12 kind of diamond requirement area and maybe make it. So that's actually good to know. Probably worth going for those max weight estimate level 4 raccoons just in case. And for now just another nice gold for our first multiplayer hunt here. We were bound to eventually target the gators and when we switched servers to one that was pretty much the ideal time for them, I figured probably there's no better chance to go after them. Now the one thing that I wanted to address was that I misspoke earlier. We do not have the M1 today. We have the 303. We must have actually made that brain shot. It's so incredible how tough the Gators are because even with that extra power of the 303, a brain shot does not immediately drop them. That or maybe there's a bit of an animation there where they're technically dead but they're still kind of moving. That could be the case and it would actually kind of make sense for a reptile species I believe. But 
as this level 5 seems to be rather confused about where he's trying to go, we'll try to get him to just since he's here. And, I mean, as nice as it is to get a couple of good-sized gators, the reason that I wanted to go after them today really was to look for rares. That's one thing we've not had. Despite all the gators we've shot in single player for respawns and stuff, not a single rare has shown up. And it does seem like the piebalds are really fairly common in terms of rares, but not even a single one of those has spawned. So maybe multiplayer is going to be the place to encounter something like that. And in the meantime, we can at least get a couple of nice ones as we're going along. It's going to be interesting to see where this actually impacted. And again, when it comes to really seeing where the brain is at on the gators it's just tough to to really know but i think that shot's gonna be fairly kind of uh replicable it should be doable to make that angle over and over i don't know that i've really attempted that specific one so that's good to know and actually it must have been an animation then like there was no second shot that hit him there was only one that registered so i'm guessing he was actually dead it just you know he kind of was moving still with that death animation so I guess that is useful information I kind of like the narrative that they're so tough that even a brain shot doesn't immediately kill them but either way I guess they still kind of give off that appearance unfortunately I would kind of say that we are probably past the ideal time to target gators I mean you can shoot them out of the water and doing so is rather difficult so I think what I'd prefer to do is probably try to get one of these white tail there's a buck there in the back there almost has to be a gator either like maybe if we spooked it and it's real close to the shore or there could have been one laying there. Like I don't know why they sped up when they were fleeing. Something has to have caused that but yeah I mean once they get out to this point even if we do find a, a level 9 or a rare taking the shot in the water is just really not worth the risk in my mind and they're simply not going to go to the shore until their next zone is over so I think we're best off starting to kind of look elsewhere on this map and it was nice to actually get out and see a couple of good sized ones and I mean it's definitely worth checking. Like I said the piebalds don't seem that rare and they look really really good. So hopefully one day it can happen and maybe we'll get into another server where the time is better but I think for now we're best off kind of switching gears here. But a small buck and a messed up metal with the not so ideal shooting that one was actually pretty close. Probably should have waited just an extra couple of frames and taken that shot and would have gotten into the neck, but for what was a silver at best, not too bad of a deal. So I'm not sure we might go back kind of to the fields and hunt the sort of fringe areas again looking for rest zones. It worked pretty good earlier and maybe it'll work on a new server. Well, that is rather unfortunate. I just had that max weight track and I spotted some of the female hogs over here in the corn just kind of feeding and of course... The level 5 being that slightly higher difficulty and probably slightly more aware of its surroundings decided to run off so I'm not actually sure this is not something that I encounter that often where just the specific animal in a herd that I want to target kind of runs away. I don't know if it will just come back or not. Oh it absolutely is going to come back and 139 to 169 is a pretty decent estimate now fortunately we actually are carrying the 20 gauge slug, so this is an opportunity for the 20 gauge Scarlet uh, double barrel shotgun, and I would love to get the opportunity to take him down with that. Now, he is nervous, and I actually don't even know if I have the hog collar on me, so they must be just in the corn there, or maybe they are going to just take off. Now, they feed for quite some time, so in theory, they should just go back to feeding. They might be a couple rows in. I'm just not sure where they all went. I think... Oh. I think we have our answer. He is laying right there. Alright, so... Wind is good. Let's get Rascal to just kind of hang out. And if we can scoot into, say... I don't know, 40 meters and then maybe alert him and get him to stand up. This should be very doable and... We might be able to kind of take advantage of having the quick fire from both barrels man he is right there i've been basically ducking in and out of these rows of corn trying to figure out where he got to and he was right in front of us the entire time i don't know where they're going i just need to get him alert without spooking him i cannot believe they don't see us there okay we got him alert 
course he's going to be behind a tree, but if he'll just step out a little bit more. I don't like Rascal just walking around there. I'm not sure if that's going to send the hog running. He's still just alert as long as he doesn't go to alarm. We should be okay. I think that, oh yeah, not even any, any risk taking the shot. That was a really quick kill from the 20 gauge slugs. I'm impressed actually that they brought him down that quickly. Now, he is the dark brown fur type, but at least it's a little bit different with the wild hogs. One that we don't have a diamond of yet. Hopefully that is about to change. And it is, oh wow. I think that's our biggest, if you kind of take the feral pig and the wild hog as the same species, that is our biggest at 157.1. Now they're, they're scored the same as the peccary, and we do have a max score of them, 159.5 is the max score, but I said it at the time, despite the fact that the feral pigs from Te Auro have their model changed to match the wild hogs here on Mississippi, I still treat them kind of the same as I did with the pumas and the mountain lions. They're two different species in my eyes, and I want to have a diamond of both. And now, we officially have that, so I think that leaves quail, turkey, and gray fox as the three new species we don't have a diamond of. I don't think I'm forgetting any. And in theory, the turkey shouldn't be that bad. If we can just kind of focus on them a little bit more going forward, that should be one we should be able to get in relatively short order. But I think actually, now that we got a diamond right about two hours in, we may go back to the trophy lodge and find a spot for him. It honestly was a little bit of a difficult decision because I think we've got, or we had, three feral pigs displayed and obviously one of them was going to be replaced by the new diamond wild hog and I decided to do the one out here for one because it was the one that was displayed by itself. If we go back into the other room and I do actually want to show the fur types so kind of going back there for two reasons but we have two of the feral pigs from over on Te Aoroa kind of displayed on the opposite sides of I think a diamond grizzly and by the way there must be two different brown hybrid fur types and it kills me that we didn't shoot this feral pig looking like this. That looks incredible. And like we have another diamond brown hybrid. That's what we took down out there. It didn't have all this white fur. I just think that is maybe the best looking fur type for the feral hogs. And like we have a diamond of it. It just didn't look like that when we shot it. And then this dark brown. I'm kind of getting the impression that either there are multiple fur types for like the feral pigs and the wild hogs, or the fur types and their descriptions are different. If we take like a real close look at this, this is our dark brown feral pig. We're gonna go back out one more time and look at our dark brown wild hog. They look nothing alike. And I'll also say, I have not seen any brown hybrids on Mississippi that look like that one with the white fur. Like there's a much, almost like tanner, maybe even a gold, kind of fur to this guy's face, whereas the other one is like a, I don't know, a, a darker brown. I like that. I really do wonder if it is a species thing, maybe it's just multiple fur types. It'll be interesting to find out as kind of time goes along, but I think that's really cool. And again, it's a variety added to the trophy lodge, and that is something I'm all about. So cool to cross another species off the list for getting a diamond of everything in the game and in this lodge. And I'm looking forward to hopefully getting back out there, whether it's single player or multiplayer, and continuing to cross those off. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.